Hello YouTube, yesterday's WWDC was jam-packed with multiple product and future announcements. We got so many from Mac Pro to Vision Pro. It was just epic. Well, today we are going to see first hands-on video of iPod OS 17 running on the iPad Mini 6. Before that, if you want to see how iPad OS 17 works with iPad Mini 5th Gen, wait till this weekend for that video. So do subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified when that video drops real soon. Also, we'll be trying out iOS 17 on iPhone SE second generation. So coming back to iPad Mini 6th Gen running iPad OS 17 developer beta 1. So first, how would you get this? You got to be registered to Apple Developer Program by paying $100 per year. Or if you want to take risk and again, I say try it on your own risk. You can do it this way. Head on to this site and follow the instructions and you are good to go. And for those wondering, yes, still the beta profiles are working even though it gets removed after restart. So just turn off auto updates and have this profile and it should work. Now that we have installed iPad OS 17 on the iPad Mini 6. So today we are going to see 10 top new features added to iPad OS 17. Starting with number 1, the lock screen changes. With iOS 16, we got a complete overhaul for iPhone lock screen. Now we have the same on the iPad. New wallpapers. Let me go to settings, then choose wallpaper. Add new wallpaper. Here I can see all the new wallpapers. The new kaleidoscope. Let me go to collections. So this is the default iPad OS 17 wallpaper. One good thing is now there is a dark and light mode option which is back. I really like this. Live photo wallpaper. You can also add live photos like this. And this is really cool. Live activities. There is also live activities from your Uber or Swiggy where you can track things directly from the lock screen just like how it was with iPhone. Talking about iOS futures coming down to iPad with iOS 17 now we got the standby mode so where you can use the lock screen as Google Hub kind of arrangement maybe we will get this with iPad OS 18 next year. So you can use it like the Pixel tablet, tablet launched last month. Number 2. Widgets. We all have been asking for interactive widgets and we get it here with iPad OS 17. Lock screen widgets. So now the lock screen have widgets in portrait mode. We get similar to iOS kind of layout and in landscape there is a widget bar towards the left pane and can have a long list of lock screen widgets. Uh, interactive widgets. Now we can finally finally pass and play music but sadly there is no play next or previous option. This recently played option can be used for now but would love that to be added in the future. This also works with reminders and notes but the third part ones are yet to take advantage of this interactive widgets. Hope they do it soon. Number 3 messages. There are some subtle but useful updates to the Messages app. Message, message app. When you go to Messages and press this plus button, you get a stack of message apps which is handy and organized. I can choose more to see other options. I guess the check-in one is not available yet. Swipe to replay. We can finally swipe to replay to particular conversation which is really handy and I do use this with WhatsApp. Now we can do this on iMessage too. Search filters. This is one subtle but important feature where you can search for a particular keyword said by a particular person. So you can start a keyboard war. Ha <laughs> ha. Voice transcription. If you feel annoying to open voice messages, then the transcription comes in really handy. Improved voice dictation. Well, Apple didn't use AI, but they have used AI here to get improved voice dictation. Stickers. Finally, the crank playing basketball sticker, which they showed on screen. Well, you can create your own stickers and communicate like kids. Number 4. FaceTime. 
recorded video or audio message. It's like voice mailbox for FaceTime. So if once couldn't pick up your call, you can leave a video message of what you wanted to convey. React with hands. This feature works on iPad mini 6, not on mini 5. So you saw the two hands thumbs up would trigger fireworks around you. Well, that's a cool touch which you can add to your FaceTime calls and celebrate. Finally, you can also FaceTime on Apple TV. Number 5. Health app. So, as the rumors suggested, we have health app on iPad 2 now. Here you can get all the health app information specifically designed for iPad's large display and they are replayed on a neat job. Just like the weather app last year but still not the calculator app yet. Come on Apple, get it on the iPad with calculation history and call it a day. Number 6. Mental Health and Vision Health Mental health is again an important future which is coming across iPhone and iPad. Vision health. This requires true depth camera so it will only work on iPad Pro. Hope Apple brings Face ID to iPad mini 2 in the next generation. Number 7. PDFs and Notes Annotate PDFs natively. This comes in really handy and now we don't require any third party PDF editor tools to annotate PDF documents. Link related notes. So if you are a student and take notes related to some PDF document, you can do this natively and that's really helpful. Number 8. Safari improvements. You can keep your browsing separate for topics like work and personal with different profiles in Safari. Profiles help you separate your history, extensions, tab groups, hookies and favorites. You can quickly switch between profiles as you browse. The subtle improvements and Apple's claim of Safari being the fastest browser makes me want to use Safari more once again. Number 9. Keyboard Improvements Accurate autocorrect and predictions in line with space. These are again minor improvements done with AI and machine learning. Number 10. Use external camera for FaceTime. Wanted this from long time mainly with the iPad Pros while connected to external display. So those were the 10 new features of iPad OS 17 on iPad mini 6. Well, there is one more future but iPad mini doesn't get this or any A-series chip iPad this is exclusively for M1, N, M2, Epuked iPad, Yard and Pros that is resizable windows in stage manager which is one of the most demanded user requested feature for the iPad OS. This makes stage manager more usable especially when connected to external monitor. Coming to all important part, performance. This is still the first developer beta, so take this just as a reference and not the final result. Let's run the Geekbench CPU and GPU test with iPad OS 17 running on iPad mini 6 and compare with the results from iPad OS 16. Clearly some degradation in the numbers but nothing to worry about as I said again this is the first beta and would get better with the subsequent releases but with the usage of iPad I didn't notice any lags or what whatsoever. The A15 chip works really well as even the A10 Epuked iPad is getting this update. We shall come to the device compatibility in a moment. Let's have a quick run through other notable iPad OS or iOS features. App shortcut in top hint. Can just say Siri instead of instead of Hey Siri. Yard play and add up advancements coming soon. Another coming soon future is journal app. Adaptive audio mode which requires AirPods Pro 2. Mute and unmute calls control, privacy and security improvements. So this make it one of the minor but required update for iPad OS. As just before this announcement, they even released Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro for iPad, making it somewhat closer to a computer. Well, time can say. Now coming to compatibility, the iPad mini 5th gen with A12 gets the iPad OS 17 update. And shockingly, even the regular iPad 6th gen with even the A10 chip gets this update. 
then the third gen ipad o with a12 and the second gen ipad pro with a10x can update to the latest ipad os version but there are some features limited to certain models of ipads at last the summary is it a substantial update no but the lock screen now matches that of ios and we have a interactive widgets health app comes to ipad can annotate pdfs natively resizable windows on stage manager and subtle improvements to messages face time keyboard and safari all together makes it a really good update to the ipad os thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this as we will be covering the ipad os 17 on mini 5th gen and ios 17 on iphone se in the coming videos please do subscribe and make us grow until then peace